You may remember a few weeks back, I tried out the 3 4G Plus Hub and was really impressed with its performance in general. But when it came to the external antenna connections, it didn't perform as well. Just in case you've not seen that video, here is a quick rundown. It's a category 18 router from the 3 network in the UK and has two external antenna connections as standard. When we tested it against a Cat6 MiFi, with both using their internal antennas, it was nearly 10 times faster. But when we came to use it in the van with the external antenna connections, it became evident that the fact it only had two connections meant it couldn't connect to the multiple bands needed to get that higher performance. The only way we were able to maximise that Category 18 modem was to actually have the unit on the roof of the van using its internal antennas, which just really isn't practical. This is when we became aware of routermods.co.uk, who modify routers to add the extra external antennas that the original manufacturer didn't bother to. In full disclosure, Router Mods did our modification for us for free, so they could add this router to their modification portfolio and so we could share the results with you. They were great at letting us know what would happen, keeping us up to date with the modification and getting it back to us quickly, even with them having not modified this model before. So with our modified router, the original antenna connections are now redundant and the new sockets enable the connections to both a main and secondary antenna to support a full 4x4 MIMO connection, rather than being limited to the 2x2 MIMO connection provided from the factory. We're using our pointing MIMO 3 as the main antenna and our non-branded omnidirectional MIMO antenna for the secondary antenna. We're in the same location, using the same network and the same test server. And the performance we have seen has shown that now we are able to attach external antennas to replace all the internal antennas, we are benefiting from the full potential of the CAT18 modem, giving us faster speeds than when the unit was outside the van, most likely due to the fact that the external antennas are higher gain than the internal ones. Now let's look at the overall pros and cons of the router. The performance of the modem and the fact it can have the modification completed is a big pro. It's simple to set up, just popping a 3 compatible SIM card, we're using Smarty, and as the router is native 12 volts, it's easy to power from the van using a 12 volt stabilised adapter. And as it's pretty easy to pick them up second hand for around £40, the price is good. However, there are some cons to consider. To keep it simple to use, the router settings and dashboard have been kept as simple as possible. For example, you can't see what band it's connected to or to what tower. As there appears to be no way to change the APN, it can only be used on the 3 network, and you're not able to configure the connection or the routing in any way by locking to certain bands or towers. The price of the modification is £75, but thanks to RouterMod's support of this video, you can get £10 off the modification of any router or the purchase of a pre-modified router simply by entering explorevan.uk in the discount code at the checkout. So if you're able to pick up a router from eBay like we did for around the £40 mark, you're talking between £100 and £110 for the router and modification. In summary, to get an off-the-shelf router that comes with an external 4x4 MIMO antenna connection, you would need to be looking at a flagship industrial model like the RUTX14 from Teltonica, which we will be reviewing in an upcoming video. And it is a fantastic router with pretty much everything you could want, including the configuration options the 3 hub lacks. But at around three to four times the price, even factoring in the modification cost, it is clearly more expensive. If you are comfortable with the limitations of the basic 3 router, this modification has enabled it to reach its full potential when using external antennas within a more budget friendly price bracket. The modification service is not limited to this router and it may be that the router you already have could be modified. Just check out RouterMod's website to find out more. Thanks for watching our video and as always if you have any questions or feedback please pop them in the comments below. If you find the video useful please like, share and consider subscribing.